will be in my next book, one of the topics that I'm writing about because it's so interesting and people want to hear about it. So red wine is the most obvious. Uh, the, the winemakers have realized over thousands of years that if you pick grapes that are on dehydrated vines or vines that are infected by a fungus or both, it's, it's uh, very, it produces very good wine in part because they're filled with these molecules that I've talked about. Resveratrol is one, but all of these other color, colorful molecules, the intense reds um, are part of the plant's defense. Uh, other foods, well, I mean, eat, if you can afford it, eat organic, uh, particularly those plants that have been grown not in a greenhouse, if you can help it, or even if they've been in a local garden and there's been a caterpillar on it, pests, uh, too much sun, not enough water. These are things that make plants uh, more nutritious actually, uh, and probably have more of these molecules. Um, so I try to eat locally for that reason as well. Um, and eat colored foods. Th those colors are molecules that are usually associated with xenohermetins. Uh, so very dark green, uh, the reds, the oranges, the purples, those are good. If you, the opposite is take a lettuce that's been grown in California. It's almost white, it's barely green, it's all water, not very nutritious and probably hasn't very few of those xenohermetins.